Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your TV and online electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. The standard pickup from Toyota, the Hilux Conquest, plus a compact SUV from Mahindra, the Scorpio GLX Turbo. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2018 Maserati Levante GTS and the 2019 Infiniti QX60. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs from Honda and Nissan, the CRV CVT and the X-Trail 4x4. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recent inauguration of the Suzuki Auto Calamba as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. You. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. Toyota Motor Philippines started off 2018 with the introduction of the newest variant in the Hilux lineup, the Hilux Conquest. In this week's car review, find out why it is designed for those who seek adventure. Watch this. Here we have the Hilux Conquest 4x4 manual transmission. It is powered by a 2.8-liter diesel engine that produces 177 PS of power and 450 newton meter of torque that's available at 1,600 RPM. This healthy amount of torque combined with its body dimensions of 5,335 millimeters for the length, 1,855 millimeters for the width, and 1,815 millimeters for the height, and a wheelbase of 3,085 millimeters is useful for towing or carrying heavy cargo. Conquest's turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine is also coupled with a four-wheel drive system and a six-speed manual transmission. Conquest has a fuel tank capacity of 80 liters. Fuel economy on the Conquest is generous as it can return about 15 kilometers per liter on the highway. 
On the other hand, if you're driving around the city, the Conquest can consume around 10 to 10.5 kilometers per liter. For the suspension, Toyota says that they made a few tweaks to it, which guarantees a better riding experience, though it still uses a double wishbone at the front and leaf spring at the rear. The combination of disc brakes for the front brakes and drum brakes for the rear brakes can give you that confidence to slow down the Conquest at any speed. They are that responsive. Let's now check out the exteriors of the Conquest. Toyota takes pride in the new pickup's bolder look. Aside from its grille design and sports bar, the LED headlights with daytime running lights, bed liner, and front bumper provide the Conquest a more commanding presence. Also, the Conquest takes on the road with its 18-inch alloy wheels. Jumping into the interiors, you will be greeted with the black trim pieces with metal accent. Just like its exteriors, the premium black trim defines the Conquest's bold look. Not to mention that the seats are wrapped in a decent fabric material. The Conquest can seat up to 5 passengers with enough space at the back for 3 people. What's more outstanding about the interiors of the Conquest is that it is equipped with automatic climate control with rear vents, hydraulic steering and tilt steering column, push start button, and power windows. But what highlights the interior of the Conquest is the infotainment system with navigation. It is equipped with a 6.5-inch capacitive touchscreen that comes with six speakers and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and AUX connectivity. When it comes to safety features, the Conquest is equipped with Hill Start Assist, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, and six airbags, among other standard safety features. The Conquest also guarantees security as it has a keyless entry feature and it is also equipped with central locking, an alarm, and an immobilizer. The introduction of the Toyota Hilux Conquest to the market definitely thrilled a lot of the brand's fans and supporters. With its new look and features, there's no question why it's been dubbed as the boldest variant of the Hilux lineup yet. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. It's back! Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the standard and premium luxury class? You choose. You decide. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far.
Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines invited members of the local motoring media to a ride and drive event last July 19 to 20 dubbed Isuzu Driveway Getaway 2018. On board the 2018 Isuzu D-Max pickup and Isuzu Mu X, which according to Isuzu now sports the ultra-efficient yet powerful RZ4E engine. The media ride and drive, which began at the Petron service station in Marilao along the North Luzon Expressway and ended at Thunderbird Resort in Bawang La Union Province, aimed to show the participants the fuel efficiency of the RZ4E engine, as well as highlight the amenities of the 2018 Isuzu D-Max and Isuzu Mu X. Members of the media were grouped into teams and were challenged to consume the least amount of fuel for a 112-kilometer economy run. Isuzu Philippines President Hajimi Koso lauded the participants for their driving skills and discipline, which optimized the 2018 Isuzu D-Max potential for fuel efficiency. Here are some of the amazing fuel performance of the Isuzu vehicles. to highlight what uh, ISUS is known for uh, fuel efficiency. I think today we introduce a new system of measuring fuel efficiency. It's the ISUS diagnostic service system where we really measure everything about the engine, uh, how the driver performs his driving, how, how often he do idling, how often he step on the brakes, how often he steps on the accelerator. So it's actually a diagnostic uh, that we normally do for bigger trucks. I think, as I mentioned, one of our strengths to really promote fuel efficiency. And us being a truck manufacturer, we would like to carry this inherent legacy of Isuzu as well on our LCB. That's why we are reintroducing this on the DMAX and the Mu X today. And I think we've got a very good result. I think the winner for the DMAX category got at least uh, 22 plus kilometers per liter. And uh, for the Mu X category, they got 23 plus kilometers per liter. So it's actually the type of fuel efficiency that you will expect on the Isuzu Vega, particularly the new RSA4 or 1.9 liter diesel engine. The Isuzu Mu X and D Max with RZ4 engine is our answer to the grammar of our customers for reliable, hard working, but fuel efficient vehicle. Especially now that the road and driving condition become more difficult as the rainy season comes in. And that fuel prices are increasing on a global scale. Continuing with more news from Isuzu, Isuzu Philippines also recently participated in the Philippines Bus and Truck Show 2018 held at the SMX Convention Center, Mall of Asia Complex in Pasay City, last July 13 to 15. Isuzu Philippines' modernized jeepney on display featured the Isuzu QKR77 cabin chassis platform with a rear body designed and manufactured by three of the country's leading bodybuilders. They offered the public 30,000 pesos cash discount 
and 10,000 pesos worth of parts coupon for every purchase. According to Isuzu Philippines, they've highlighted their versions of the modernized jeepneys that have been built to meet, if not exceed, the Department of Transportation standards and specifications for its public utility vehicle modernization program. The line of this year's show was modernization of jeepneys in the Philippines for green cities. We are now here at the Philippine uh, International Bus and Truck Show. This is actually the biggest show for this type of vehicles, mostly commercial vehicles. So we always join this particular event because we see it. We were able to showcase our lineup of trucks from the light duty N series to the medium duty F series and to the heavy duty ENC series. Also, from time to time, we also showcase our bus. In, in particular, this time we are showcasing our PUB, class 2 PUB made by Almasora using the QKR77 as platform. Uh, this is our entry into the Philippine government PUB modernization program. Meanwhile, Ford Philippines recently held the Driving Skills for Life program, a globally recognized training program that educated drivers on smart, safe, and fuel-efficient driving at the Mega Tent in Levis, Quezon City, last July 14. On its 11th year in the country, the Driving Skills for Life program aims to reach over 2,500 public utility vehicle and private vehicle drivers all over the country this year, with more workshop sessions in select areas in Luzon, Visayans, and Mindanao, including more hands-on driving sessions to bring to life the participants' learnings after the workshops. This year's Driving Skills for Life program included new training modules on vehicle handling, driving in special conditions, anti-destructive driving, and fuel-efficient driving. So at Ford, we really value uh, safety, and we always want all drivers to really be safe on the road, may it be while driving or even before leaving home. So what we wanted to say here is that everybody needs to be safe on the road, and we at Ford would like to empower them with our vehicles, our safe driving programs, and the features that we have in our vehicles. So please always be safe on the road. Thank you. And finally, Phoenix Petroleum's Pinoy Chupair Hero took home the awards of excellence under the Community Relations category at the 2018 Philippine Quill Awards. Phoenix Petroleum's brand and marketing group led by Assistant Vice President Selena Matias and the ABS-CBN Dinkud Capamilia Foundation team led by Chief Marketing Officer Paolo Mercado received the trophy during the awards night on July 9. According to Phoenix, the campaign recognizes outstanding Filipino drivers who exemplify discipline on the road, make a big difference in the community, and take steps to protect the environment. Pinoy Chuper Hero aims to bring out the superhero in every driver and promote driving as a noble profession. Phoenix Petroleum explores the country year-round in search of the next Pinoy Chuper Hero. This year, the campaign received a record high 30,000 nominations. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. It's back. Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the standard and premium luxury class? You choose, you decide.
Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. When you talk about reliable and practical SUVs, for sure there will be a few names that will come up. To help you decide, we have in this week's Head to Head, two of the newest gasoline-powered SUVs in the market today, the Honda CR-V and Nissan X-Trail. Watch this. This time on Head to Head, we have the Honda CR-V 7-seater and the Nissan X-Trail 4x4. But before hopping onto the bigger picture, let us first inspect what's under the hood of our featured vehicles. It's given that both vehicles run on gasoline engines, but the two differ when it comes to their figures. The CR-V 7-seater is powered by a 2.0-liter engine which gives out 154 horsepower and 189 newton-meters of torque. Meanwhile, the X-Trail 4x4's figures are higher, with a 2.5-liter engine powering it, which produces 169 horsepower and 233 newton meters of torque. These numbers respectively match the vehicle's body size and weight, which makes them easy to pull on the road. However, the two vehicles are equipped with the same transmission system, a continuously variable transmission. Suspension-wise, the CR-V 7-seater uses multi-link at the front and McPherson struts at the rear. This setup gives the car the ability to power through bumps and rough roads. For the X-Trail 4x4, it uses an independent strut type with stabilizer at the front and an independent multi-link type with stabilizer at the rear. Just like with the CR-V, the suspension setup of the X-Trail is designed for taking on road imperfections effectively. Now on to the more exciting parts. First, the exteriors. The CRV bears LED headlights with LED daytime running lights that are complemented by the solid wing face front grille. But what highlights the look of the 7-seater are the diamond-cut 18-inch alloy wheels and the D-pillar-mounted LED tail lights. 
It doesn't look much different from the other variants, but stands out in its own way. On the other hand, the X-Trail 4x4 comes with a wide V-motion grill, reshaped fog and LED headlamps, and restyled daytime running lights. This fascia is highlighted by a set of 19-inch dual-tone alloy wheels. Also, just like the CRV, the looks of this 4x4 isn't that different from the old designs, but looking at its exterior features, one can easily tell that it has been redesigned for Nissan's latest model. Next up, the interiors. Inside the CRV 7 seater, you will be greeted with seats that look and feel comfortable from the get go. The front seats have good side support as well as comfortable backrests, which are wrapped with leather upholstery. And speaking of leather, the steering wheel is also wrapped with the material and it comes with audio media controls as well as buttons for the cruise control. On the other hand, the X Trail's outside looks extend to its interiors. It has that subtle redesigned vibe that is visible with the revamped door finishers and instrument panel accents, shift knob design, center console, and D-shaped steering wheel. The combination of leather and fabric incorporated on the seats also contribute to the overall interior feels of the car. Another thing that is worth noting, both of our featured vehicles can comfortably sit up to 7 people. Though apart from these features, nothing highlights cars better than their infotainment systems. Honda's signature infotainment system is of course present in this 7-seater. Although it doesn't come with a navigation system, it still supports multimedia functions and connectivity like AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and HDMI. And passengers can enjoy a music-filled road trip as it comes with 8 speakers. Meanwhile, the X-Trail has a display head unit that is easy to connect with smartphones via Bluetooth or USB. Although it has two less speakers than the CRV, it still produces an enjoyable sound. Moreover, our featured vehicles don't come short when it comes to safety and security features. Though the CRV 7 seater doesn't come with Honda Sensing, it still comes with the standard safety and security features such as driver and front passenger airbags, side airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, and hill start assist. For added convenience, this car is equipped with multi-view reverse camera with dynamic guidelines and lane watch camera. However, aside from having the standard safety and security features, the X-Trail 4x4 takes pride in it coming with Nissan's new set of smart technology called the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. The X-Trail is equipped with cameras all over the car. It also displays an around-view monitor that makes parking easier with its 360-degree overhead view. These two cars may have a number of differences starting from the mechanicals down to their every feature. It's still worth stating that the CRV 7-seater and the X-Trail 4x4 are the same in a way that both can compete with each other. If you're a longtime fan of either of these two names and you're planning to buy one, know that you're in for a treat whether you go for the Honda CRV or the Nissan X Trail. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2018 Maserati Levante GTS. Let's watch this. Maserati has chosen the 25th Goodwood Festival of Speed for the world premiere of the new Levante GTS. The V8 Maserati of SUV is the sibling version of the top-of-the-line Levante Trofeo, which also makes its European debut at one of the most prestigious automotive events in the world. 
The Levante GTS Twin Turbo V8 maintains the V90 architecture of the 3.8-liter unit fitted in the flagship Quattroport GTS, but has been re-engineered to work with the Key4 Intelligent all-wheel drive system and retuned to deliver 550 HP at 6,250 RPM and 730 NM peak torque between 2,500 and 5,000 RPM. Like all Maserati patrol engines, this V8 is assembled by Ferrari in Maranello. Thanks to its remarkable weight-power ratio of 3.9 kg HP, the Levante GTS takes only 4.2 seconds to reach 100 km per hour, while its top speed is 292 km per hour. Performance figures of a modern supercar disguised in a high-end SUV body. The rigid and perfectly balanced Levante chassis has been tuned to effortlessly handle the immense power of the GTS engine, providing a driving experience true to the Gran Turismo pedigree of this new V8 Maserati of SUVs. The Levante's unmistakable design embodied a new level of sportiness in the Trofeo version and the new GTS has adopted a similar styling theme, which focuses on the lower front fascia and the rear bumper, achieving a sporty yet sophisticated look. Alongside the announcement of the V8, the Levante range now showcases new contents, such as the optional adaptive full LED matrix headlights and now standard integrated vehicle control, which is already available on the Ghibli and Quattroport saloons. Rather than simply correcting vehicle instability, the IVC function helps prevent it, providing enhanced active safety, improved driving dynamics and an even more exciting performance. We'll have our special feature segment after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van, or that versatile go anywhere pickup. Be a part of the 2018 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018 2019 Autofocus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. From the everyday, the new Toyota Rush. Rediscover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all new seven seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. 
It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Following the successful introduction of the two latest additions to the Suzuki automobile lineup, the Onyo Desire and Swift, Suzuki Philippines continues to drive forward in the competitive automobile industry by adding another dealership to its growing network, the Suzuki Auto Calamba. And here are some of the highlights of its inauguration and launch. Suzuki Otokalamba is a fast-growing uh, community here in uh, southern Luzon with the growing agribusiness and the uh, manufacturing here. We tend to open as now as our grand opening. Uh, this is a figure from January to May 2018. Uh, industry uh, was a little bit down, 9%, compared to last year, January to May. Uh, but uh, for Suzuki Philippines, uh, we are so lucky that uh, we are able to improve 10% more compared to last year. This is the situation. With the growth outside of Metro Manila, we expand and uh, with the growth also of Suzuki Philippines, we need to provide the, the market, the automotive market so we can achieve what uh, Suzuki products to this uh, community. Kalamba is a very strategic uh, area for us. Uh, there's uh, many business, agriculture, so I also know uh, many industrial uh, park in this area. So uh, we did not have an uh, authorized dealership for Suzuki Automobile yet. So once uh, we started talking with uh, our network, uh, finally uh, we are able to open the, this dealership today. Last month, uh, we are able to introduce a new model, which is a Desire and Swift. And uh, we also want to introduce a more model, new model in the Philippines. And we also want to do a more marketing activities. And we also want to improve for our service facilities so that our uh, current Suzuki vehicle owner can be secure as their Suzuki vehicle. To all the Calambuenos and other uh, customers here in South Southern Luzon, we'd like to invite you to come and visit us here at Suzuki Auto Calamba, Porok Por, Barangay Milagrosa National Highway. We cater uh, Suzuki products with six showrooms, display, and big facility for service to accommodate your needs. Maraming salamat po. 
Of course, not only、uh, Suzuki Auto Caramba, but also our nationwide dealership. All vehicles, including our new models Swift and Desire, can be accommodated for a test drive. So please visit us. That's our special feature this week, centering on the highlights and sidelights of the launch and inauguration of Suzuki's latest addition to its wide dealership network, the Suzuki Auto Calamba. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Infiniti QX60. Let's watch this. The award winning Infiniti QX60 luxury crossover, consistently among Infiniti's top two selling models, continues into the 2019 model year as one of the most versatile three row, seven passenger vehicles on the market today, offering a combination of family features with a welcoming, crafted design inside and out. The 2019 QX60 exterior fully embodies Infinity's dramatic design language, emphasizing the QX60's taut, muscular shapes and flowing lines. The double arch grille is flanked by bi s e n and headlights with LED daytime running lights. LED fog lights are standard, as are LED turn signals incorporated into the side rear view mirrors. In the rear, a chrome finisher surrounds the standard power lift function hatch. A motion activated lift gate is available with the sensory package. A power sliding tinted glass moonroof with one touch open close tilt feature and sliding sunshade is standard. Also available is a panoramic moonroof with power rear sunshade, which provides a light, airy environment for rear passengers. The front and rear faces include optional flush mounted sonar. Sensors adding to the QX60's premium appearance. Other QX60 exterior features include the double wave hood, crescent cut D pillar, and greenhouse design, automatic on and off headlights, and large LED tail lights. High beam assist is included with the Pro Assist package. The 2019 Infiniti QX60 standard 3.9 liter V6 engine is rated at 295 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. The engine's direct injection gasoline system, which is also utilized on the exciting Q60 Sports Coupe's 3.0 liter twin turbo V6, as well as the powerful QX80 full size SUV's 5.6 liter V8, provides better wide open throttle performance and Emissions performance. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018 2019 Auto Focus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018, and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA across White Plains.
discover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. from the everyday, the new Toyota Rush. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. Our second car review this week is India's entry to the country's SUV market, the Mahindra Scorpio. While most SUVs have a modern style, the design of the Mahindra Scorpio remains traditional yet stylish. Let's have a little trip down memory lane. Watch this. The Mahindra Scorpio comes in two variants, the GLX and the Flood Buster. For this feature, we have the Mahindra Scorpio GLX. First things first, let's take a closer look at what's under the hood of this SUV. Powering the Scorpio GLX is a 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine, which produces 105 horsepower and 258 newton meters of torque. This is mated to a 5-speed manual transmission and rear-wheel drive is standard for this SUV. From the outside, the Scorpio GLX looks like it came straight from the past. There's something about the looks of it that gives out a retro vibe and it must be the large rounded headlights, curvy lines and sculpted boot. Inside, the Scorpio GLX is as simple yet stylish as its exterior. It has a tilt-adjustable steering wheel which allows the driver to have a more convenient driving experience. This SUV can sit up to 9 passengers comfortably as it is equipped with dual bench-type rear seats. For other convenience purposes, window switches are located in the center console beside the seats. For entertainment, the Scorpio GLX has a radio with USB and aux-in. The Scorpio GLX may not be as advanced as the other SUVs in the market, but this SUV is just as reliable when it comes to conquering tough terrains. It mostly has a rugged construction, but it doesn't compromise safety. A lot can say that the best part of the Scorpio GLX is the ownership experience. That was the Mahindra Scorpio, a simple, rugged SUV that doesn't compromise its passengers' needs. Our second car review this week. 
And that's Auto Focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gumball.